morning. This is Devora Lily Ramos, La Sabia, and the Traveling Marquess. And I just want to say good morning to you. I'm going to be very honest about stuff in these vlogs. I have recently um, overcome a bout of severe depression and anxiety, and I am a huge proponent of um, medical cannabis and cannabis in general. I've got to tell you that I have a long history of chronic pain and anxiety and stress and so much pain. And just two tablets of THC, you know, every two or three days has me problem. <laughs> you know, I'm a musician and I'm a songwriter and right now I'm in, I'm starting college for uh, digital photography. And I have a long history of not being able to remember things, whether long-term, short-term, or memory retention. But i got to tell you, the medical cannabis, or even what my husband had gotten me one in Colorado, it was so helpful, the cannabis. It was so helpful in memory recollection, in memory retention, in helping my bones and... Um, helping me sleep because I don't sleep and and in general yes there was a euphoria of not feeling like poop I don't smoke to get high I smoke for pain I don't even like smoking I, I enjoy the edibles and um candies the sodas and the kids the oils but look if it if it's gonna help why don't we just do something like be proactive you know do the research don't 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 fall for that oh it's so bad for you look anything you use or one uses in excess for anything be it sex be it money be it food be it whatever hobby hobby or vice it's, that you're going to use to feel better or to to avoid guess what it's not, it, it goes across the board. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to give you a little bit of that. I'm going to be filming stuff and enjoying it. Let's do something together, though. Let's make sure, like, 155.68% that we change this country around. That we with the art by we the people the transfer transparency challenge and the i love me some me movement as well as to, to really let's take care of this earth we have an ah, ha, 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 for um a leader he's not a leader he he's leading something into chaos and Ivanka, but I, I consider um, Mr. Trump very much like a Nebuchadnezzar in um, the King, the Book of Kings and and the other verse, the other scripture verses. Look, you can't go around acting as if you are for the people, and you pump yourself up. But you know what? There is a divine out there. There's many divine. I serve and love Yeshua. And Yahweh and you know, the Spirit of God. And I got to tell you, you know, there's many manifestations, many different forms of all of that. And what I love about the Bible is that concerning Mr. Trump is that I personally even pray and expose him. You know, expose him. And then let him understand what it's like. Like Nebuchadnezzar fell. I'm not asking that the man die. I'm asking that he fall. And that he understands that then when he is done being a dog or or a, 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 a not wanted miscreant, you know, that he'll be brought to a better place when that time is done. So as a woman who has dealt with sexual violence and stalking and a slew of stuff, I don't appreciate him. And I'm a believer of believers of believers. That's a whole other story, but 
look, let's just change the world. Who else is going to do it? You know, us and our forefathers and foremothers, let's be forefathers, <laughs> anyway, we are not giving this land rest. We're not giving the earth rest. She's throwing up. She's getting sick. So who's going to take care of her? We better be the ones who are still here so that Mother Earth will be just fine and copacetic with us and keep together. Because if you're going to stand and, you know, and, and just throw away the earth, so understand the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. That means everything that is. And that's a whole hierarchy of love you got there. Oh, my God, I got to get rid of this. I don't like it. So, uh, <laughs> that's my video for today. Today's August 8th, not, uh, 1989. August 8th, 2017. And I'm going to sing Happy Birthday for my favorite news. And, well, it's not one of my favorite news. But, um, my favorite boy band, uh, yeah. Yeah. Joshua Scott today sent me something in that, that crazy Facebook page of yours. Saying the messages and this I promise you this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. This is your day, your day, your day. This is your day, your day, your day. Happy birthday. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Be careful. It got to be the mooch. I love you just, you know, you know, the guy, you know, whoever did your makeup. Let's just let's, let's do the same guy. I'm, I'm, Yo, that's it. Look, if you ever want to talk or uh, reach out, um, just hit me up on here on YouTube and I'll get back to you. All right. Thank you so much. Bye, Las Have a great one.